There is no doubt that skidding is one of the world's oldest transportation techniques. The ancient Egyptians made use of skidding technology to move stones of enormous size and weight to build their pyramids. Over the years, a variety of skidding systems has been used to move heavy structures, mostly by using a combination of skid tracks, skid shoes, a friction-reducing material, and a propulsion force. To avoid overloading skid shoes, some systems employ elevation cylinders to compensate possible unevenness of the underlying ground. In general, there are two methods used to propel the object to be moved. One employs a winch or strand jack to pull the structure, while the other uses a hydraulic push-pull system. The latter method is known as a compensated skidding system. We at Enerpack believe that this is the only correct way to skid the load. Today we're going to show you the second generation of our hydraulic compensated skidding systems. And here you see a skidding system in use. This is a 600 ton safe working load skid shoe. And underneath the slats is a sliding material facing down on the stainless steel mating surface of the skid track. Earlier skidding systems had the low friction material facing up on the track. The wear material that was used on the earlier systems is PTFE, or better known as Teflon. A critical drawback of Teflon is the limited service life. For the second generation of skidding systems we've developed a new material called L15. This material has excellent wear properties and friction values. At the moment we can guarantee you 1000 meters of skidding with one set of wear pads. This is the push-pull system. In this anchor block there are four of these grips. By using the gripper jack principle, these grips will lock onto the square bar. Stroking the cylinders in and out and engaging the grips in sequence will mean that the skid shield will be moved in the desired direction. The new generation also has a side shift system that allows alignment of the structure for better positioning at the final destination. To increase safety and to improve running on an inclined track, we've deployed a hydraulic brake under the central structure. This holds the skidding system in position, even on a 2% inclined track, making it possible to skid uphill or down with complete safety. The final great feature is the computerized SSC control system. With this you can operate the entire installation by a simple push on a button. If you compare this to conventional systems where an operator was stuck behind a noisy diesel power pack, this is a major improvement. Reading pressure changes inside this main jack, caused by ground conditions. SCC automatically adjusts to keep the load per shoe exactly the same as it was when you started out. When all the skid shoes are in position, the operation can begin. The first step is lifting the structure from its supports. This is the pre-lift. When the main jacks sense their specified preload value, all jacks stroke out in synchronized mode. Now we can start skidding. The first push-pull rams extend until pre-tension against the brake is sensed. The grip is now engaged and the brake can be released. A full push cycle is executed. During the extend stroke, SCC keeps the cylinders in synchronized motion. If the jack senses a load increase due to an inclined track, SCC aborts the skidding operation and corrects the main ramps to obtain the exact load it started with. This demonstration gives ample proof that skidding with the right equipment is easy. And that's what Adapac stands for, supplying you with the right equipment. <laughs>